All right, this month's take on Nicolas Cage movie review. I did one last month, as you recall. This month, I actually got to see a new one in the theaters. Uh, Nicolas Cage isn't really short on new movies, and most of them, unfortunately, crash and burn. But, you know, he, he's a winner. He's actually a good illustration of what it takes to be a good real estate agent. I'm going to make that comparison because he just doesn't stop. He keeps going. And no matter what, eventually, he's going to hit gold. The same thing with prospecting. Sometimes you fall on your face. Eventually, though, you make enough calls, you're going to get something out of it. But I digress. We watched Long Legs. Uh, very scary movie. Um, just came out in theaters about two weeks ago, and yeah, it's making a bunch of news as far as just how scary this thing is. And it's your typical scary movie. You know, there's some jump scares. It's more of a slow burn. Um, my wife thought it was me. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, Nicholas Cage's performance was pretty interesting. Um, you don't really get to see his face until like halfway into the movie. And if I'm going to make a critique, it was, I wish I could see more Nicolas Cage in the movie. Um, but you can barely tell it's him. He's got a mask on. It's like caked on. Um, it's really hard to tell it's Nicolas Cage until he starts to talk. And then you realize it's Nicolas Cage. So it's a completely different character than he's ever played before. However, again, you can still there's Nick, you can still tell there's Nicolas Cage under there. He's got the Nicolas Cage-isms, um, which I found charming. Some people, some reviews said, again, he was just too Nicolas Cagey. I disagree. I think it added to the character of the bad guy in the movie. Um, a little bit of satanic stuff into it, but again, it's a scary movie, so you get what you pay for. But overall, like I said, 8.5 out of 10 for long legs. Go check it out.